Hello friends, I am Dr. Irfan Ahmed. I am working as a professor in Tassin Bivi College for Women in Kelakarai. I have an experience of 27 years in uh, computer science field. My area of expertise in trusted networks and data mining. So, before going to this course, we want to know what is the why this why we want this course and what is the need of this course. See, this course is mainly focusing on this Arctic policies of India. So, what is this Arctic policy? Why we want this? See, the main objective of this policy is the climate change, which is happening in Arctic area. So, this particular thing is happening in monsoon. It gives a lot of climatical changes in global areas. So, which gives an impact in that Arctic area as well as in India too. So, this Arctic policy will involve in a multiple stakeholders including academia to achieve certain enhancements in the following areas. So, the areas will be like this, you will be having a science and research, you have environmental protections, you have economic and human development, transportation and connectivity and you have national capacity building and have governance and international corporations, all those areas are there. But we mainly focusing on this national capacity building, where the content of the materials is very, very important, the teaching learning uh, uh, informations are very, very important, where they are mainly focusing on digital India programs. So, here based on this particular inputs, based on this particular uh, aspects, we have designed the course on principles of application and cyber security, where you can see the data are very much important, the sensitive data are important. For example, when the monsoon are having a climatic change or monsoon change is happening up, it will be stored in satellite. So, all these data are very, very sensitive data. So, each and every information, each and every data are very, very vital. There is a chance that this information can be tampered. So, there is a high risk is available. For example, if you take any oil refineries, you have a natural treasures are there. So, you have national wealth is there, you have oil fields is there, what is a mining, so many things are there. It is a very, very important information. So, these informations have lot of vital info uh, or sensitive informations are there or sensor networks data are also there. So, that should be also be protected. So, if that is the case, we need a security. So, why we need cyber security? Cyber security is playing a vital role. Why? Because the sensitive data can be taken from anywhere. So, all these data are in the internet. So, all these things are in web. So, it will be well, very, very vulnerable to have this particular data. So, cyber security is deals with the data. So, it means that what? Cyber security is a subset of information security, which deals with securing the information data from both internal and external cyber threats. So, if that is the case, why? See, it has lot of terminologies you should understand first. So, you have a username, you have your uh, what do you call it as your uh, passwords and everything is there that can also be tampered. So, if that is the case, these are the risk factors which are available. So, this state of risks are uh, exposed and this uh, this kind of ex, uh, this kind of uh, uh, information can be tampered internally or inten intentionally or we can have what you call it as through a particular uh, accidentally also it can be possible if that is the case this type of things we call as a threats so you have a risk and you have a threat and this type of informations are in the system there is a gap so, how this can be solved? That is a weakness. So, this type of weakness and gap should be identified, then that can also be solved. So, when you are solving this one, we need some kind of information or some set of procedures, those types of things will be covered in this particular program. So, if you are having this type of program, we will be having very good, we will be asking the question, why sir we want to have, what type of problems will come? You have a lot of questions in your mind. Now, you can see you have a uh, what you call as wishing uh, attack is there. We call that wishing attacks. We will be watching this wishing attacks are. 
so it is not uh, uh, what you called as willingly attacked it is not like that wishing attack it called as v i s h i n g wishing attack the wishing attack is a type of attack where a person can call you through a phone it is a regularly happening of after pandemic right so information is coming up he will be asking your credentials and other things ultimately you will be taking your information your uh, your money or something in the bank will be stolen so another thing is there the people will send a fraudulent uh, mails to your mail so you will be understanding where this particular information is come up you will be sending all your information then they will take your credentials uh, from your bank and other thing they'll tamper around your data that is also is there so you have a wishing attack and phishing attack so many attacks are there these attacks can also be solved using our techniques this course will address to these type of attacks apart from that big data what is a big data sir so big data is nothing but what extremely large set of data that may be analyzed computationally to relevant patterns trends and associations so what is the mean by that sir so coming back to the previous one you have oil refineries where we will be having a sensor data oil resources you will be having the data can also be sent to the satellite or you will be having a national treasures that information will also be sent to your satellite in middle there will be tampering of the information is possible so if that is a case what will happen this big data plays a vital role where you want to have the latest trends of techniques should be adopted those techniques will also be covered in this particular course so if that is the case you will be asking sir apart from this uh, climatic and uh, uh, monsoon uh, pro problems we have another challenging factor in arctic region is uh, sustainability education one solution to achieve sustainability in education is to turn the focus on the way the people accumulate the information about the sustainability and turn into your knowledge so now you can see after pandemic you can see all this teaching learning process is happening within the digital media so each and every information is very very vital nobody can tamper around it it should be secured so we have to focus on this particular information too when teaching and learning becomes digitized the internet becomes the main source of acquiring knowledge by the students and the faculties and all other thing the cyber threats threats are very very uh, uh, what you call it as there uh, the cyber threats are unexpected uh, guest we want to precisely say therefore this cyber security course is majorly defined but majorly designed as we have seen cyber threats uh, the uh, the importance of the cyber security i think you will be understanding so the cyber security is a major concepts to be understand understand understood by the people so that they can protect their valuable datas and informations hope this course will help you in understanding the new concepts so that we can uh, save our datas thank you thank you very much